So how many colors can you get if you start with four colors and you layer them three layers high, mixing and matching any of those four colors with three layers? So I think it's 64, but I'll show you. I, I did it the long way and tried to come up with every possible combination in my notebook, just uh, trying to figure it out. But did you ever have a statistics class? <laughs> I had one a long time ago and had a wonderful professor. He kind of really made it fun. And um, I don't remember the math behind problems like this, but we used to do things like this. How many combinations can you get? But like if you look at these purples, even though they look very, very similar, they are slightly different. And same with the green and same with these pinks. So I'm getting a lot of variety. Again, I'm just using the four colors, the cyan, magenta, yellow, and white that came with this AMS system on the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. And I'll show you the fronts and backs. And so you'll notice as I flip them over, the tones look very, very similar. Uh, again, I'm doing three layers. And so, for instance, this one on the top left, the first layer is white. And so those are very pastel looking. Underneath it, the base layer was yellow. And then top right, blue, and then magenta. And so it will look different depending on what your base plate is. I just have the standard basic textured base plate on my 3D printer, but I think it's 64 colors, and so I've created a file with um, four, well, it's actually four different files, uh, just so I can make it small enough to fit on the A1 Mini, but if you've got a larger machine, you could do all four of these samples at the same time, but uh, they're just so pretty. I just love doing this, and so I've uh, taken some of the information that um, there was another file that I found that did just two layers of color, and so this is now looking at three layers of color. And I think you can get actually 64 different combinations. And the order matters. Uh, so for instance, a cyan white cyan would look different than cyan cyan white. Um, and so you have to think of all the, all the possibilities. Um, so very, very cool. And so these are very thin test sheets. Uh, I believe each layer is 0.12 millimeter, and so I've got three layers, and uh, just mixing, matching all the possible combinations for four colors in these three layers. I've got the link down below to Maker World, and so if you want to come try this out, just uh, give me a like over there, and I'd appreciate it. But um, this is just uh, just very very cool. They came out so thin. And uh, I'll show you, this was a file I had earlier where it was just two layers. And uh, then I kind of thought, well, what if we did three layers? How many com combinations can we get? So uh, I don't remember the math part of all this to solve it easily. But, you know, like artists, we do this all the time. Uh, so four colors, it would be four by four. You, you get 16 possibilities if you just looked at uh, two layers of color. But uh, looking at three, here I kind of have it worked out. But um, looking at the three different layers. And so I'll share this file with you. And uh, so all four plates, again, are different. And uh, just print whatever you'd like, or you can print all four of them like I did. I may end up cutting these little squares apart. So I have uh, all these different 64 pink chips for reference. But uh, anyway, here is a little bit of screenshots to show you that very first layer was white for this first plate. And then the four layers go horizontally. And then you've got the third layer will be those four colors again vertically. And so it uh, it laid out pretty well and it holds together pretty well um, with the way that the uh, layers are arranged and the stripes are arranged. And it was just a, a lot of fun. I just, it's just so pretty. So thanks so much for watching. I'm Rebecca and currently I'm really exploring 3D printing, but take a look at my channel for other interest. Thanks.